Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. This is fan mail unboxing number four. Man, there's a few things here. Let's do it. First off, let's open this one. This is from Saul, a sub out in Oregon. Let's see what's in here. It's not a lot. Woo! That's it? Oh! Oh! This is what Saul in Oregon sent the channel. These look like jig heads with little hoochies on them. You got a little spinner blade right there. He also threw in the box two different hooks. Woo. Thanks for the interesting jigs, Saul. They look like saltwater jigs. Let us know down in the comments. And I appreciate the uh, octopus hooks. You sent me three octopus hooks here. Look like uh, about a ot three maybe. All right, so one thing I gotta mention that you know, this is for you, Saul, and other people. This box was only taped around the sides, not the back end or the front end. When I picked this up at the P.O. box, it was open. Stuff could have came out. I weighed it there, and it was still the weight that it originally was when it was sent. So I'm pretty sure I didn't lose anything. Let us know, Saul. But next time, make sure when you get these boxes at the P.O. box, I mean at the post office, that you tape the ends as well as around the middle. It's, that way it doesn't open up. These two packages I believe are coming from the, some, the same subscriber in Arkansas. I'm not sure which one because there's a few right now contacting me. But I know that they're from the same person because on both packages they sent them to Mike Hood. Now, most of you already know, that's not my name. My name is Mark Hood. M. Hood Fishing. M is my first initial, but my first name is Mark, not Mike. So, thank you for these packages. I don't know what's in them yet, but next time, uh, Mark Hood, not Mike. It creates a lot of confusion at the post office. They're getting used to it, though. It's, it happens. There's a few other people that have done this over the years. Let's see what's in here. This one's coming from Walmart. Oh. It's a baseball cap. Somebody try to say they don't like the one I'm wearing right now? There we go. It says American Striper on it. Nice. Let's check that out. Woo. Wow, it feels pretty good. You never can have too many baseball caps, especially these mesh backs for summertime. Let's see what's in the other package. What is this? nothing in here that says what this is warehouse manager in New Jersey I, I'm assuming that it's for carrying fishing poles got these little things right here it looks like you can put the butts of poles in there and then you got straps here so you strap your rods in here and here this is like a rod bag Put a uh, put stuff in here. I, there's nothing here. Is there anything here that says what this is exactly? I'm pretty sure that's correct. It's some kind of rod tote. So you can put rods on the outside, but what do you put on the inside? 
rods, more rods. And they got this long pocket right here. It's a really long pocket. What do you put in there? More rods, bank sticks. Huh. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thank you very much. Try to use that. If I can figure it out. Interesting. All right. Let's move on. Woo. Now for the big box. What could it be, right? It's not super heavy, but it is of a good size. I'm not sure what it is. Not sure. Such a big box for I actually knew what this was because guess who it's coming from? Alright, this isn't actually fan mail. Other things come to the box as well. Nice. Nice. Woo! I've been needing one of these. I went looking all over the place to see where I could get one and the only place where they're available is Academy Sports. This is a sand spike rod holder. I have one. I needed two. I, you know, I was waiting to see if I could find one on Amazon so I could order it without having to pay for shipping. But just not going to happen there. They're not there. Let's compare this to the old one. So here's the old one. Here's the new one pretty much look exactly the same. There's a slight difference, but they're the same, pretty much the same size. The spike on the old one is maybe an, an inch or two longer. Here, I'll see that. Which, I could complain about that, I really could, but I'm not going to because I'm happy that I have two of these. These are really good for uh, catfishing on the river, especially when the river's down and you're fishing like sand on the sand and sandbars and whatnot or in the mud like lately. So this is awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm well pleased that I have two of these. Now this cost me like almost $5, but with shipping it came out to be just a little under 10. Uh, hit paying for shipping, but I like having what I need. All right. So a big thank you to everybody that sent me stuff this week. Saul and the Arkansas people. I'm not really sure which subs in Arkansas sent that stuff. It could have been two people calling me Mike. Could have been one person calling me Mike. It could have been uh, the uh, I am Confederate. I'm not sure. That's a username. So. Thank you guys. I really appreciate the stuff. And whoever sent me that, yeah, it was me. I sent that to myself. I really, I'm really happy about it. If you're wondering why I sh had that shipped from Academy Sports, there is not one here. There are places like that, but they don't carry that. So there you go. Like, comment, share, all that great stuff. Check out the merchandise. I design it myself. It's down below the video. It's Teespring. Check it out. Have a good day. See you next time.